What is going on YouTube? So if you like spy movies and uh, any Batman movies, you're probably gonna love this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be building a little bit off of a previous project I made. And that project is my backpack Spider-Man web shooter that I've got right here. This is one of the crazier projects I've done, so uh, let's go ahead and hit that like button down below. You ain't ready for what's gonna happen. We're gonna be making a device that will shoot flames out of the back of my car. And uh, if there's any parents watching out there or people who are gonna report this video for being unsafe, uh, all of this was CGI and I didn't actually build any of this. Uh, I'm just gonna say, don't try this at home. Is that believable? Can I put that in there? All right. So real quick, I'm gonna show you how it is possible to build this system for under $30. Um, super easy too. All you have to do is just screw in some pieces and attach a hose clamp. So uh, roll that clip. All right, so now we're all caught up. We have this little section right here. Propane tank screws in like this. You'll hear a slight little uh, hiss. That means it's pressurized. Um, if you did it right, no pressure will leak out. All this is really is just a electronic solenoid valve attached to a modified uh, propane tank valve. I did modify this uh, propane adapter slightly. All I did was just took out like the safety inside. So basically we just get a whole lot of propane all at once. That's pretty much all you have to do for the mechanics of this. Really simple to do. Does not mean you should try this though. This is purely for entertainment purposes only. And I'm pretty sure this is illegal too. So don't take this on the street. So if you do try this and uh, get in trouble, just don't drag this video into it. You've been warned. So all that I did to the solenoid valve was just hooked up two nine volts to it. Then I rigged up a wire that uh, leads off where the switch will be. So pretty much all we have to do is rig up an ignition source, figure out a way to match my car and then wire up a switch, one for the solenoid valve and then one for the ignition source uh, up into my car so I can control it when I do my crazy sick burnouts. All right, more montage time. Alright guys, so at this point, I think I've pretty much got everything wired up the way I want it to. As I explained before, it's just a propane tank that screws into an adapter valve, and that is attached to uh, some one inch pipe, uh, which feeds into this solenoid valve right here, which is powered by these uh, two nine volt batteries we've got going on right here. So this feeds into some more pipe, which is actually going to lead down uh, to the nozzle, which will be sticking out of my tailpipe, hopefully. So again, we've got some one inch pipe. To get this pipe up to size, I basically just use some uh, more tubing, pretty airtight, um, which goes through here, uh, feeds through this nipple valve, and yeah, out the back of the car. Gas shoots out here and is ignited by this ignition system I've got going on right at the tip. 
Uh, basically, I just used kind of a binder clip. So stripped off the metal part off the side of the binder clip, just squeeze it and pull it out. Um, so we're left with this piece. And uh, what I did was bent it slightly to fit around our valve right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, it's basically a binder clip. This carries the two wires from the ignition source uh, up to the binder clip. Um, and I basically just secured this on with some wire and then wrapped a little bit of tape around it. Pretty sturdy, I don't think it'll fall off. Uh, especially I'm not gonna have it mounted exactly on the exhaust, so hopefully it shouldn't get too hot. Cut a little slit in the center right here, um, which is where the spark will jump. Um, so what I use for this is actually an arc lighter. Uh, I pretty much kept it fully intact right here. Uh, because if this is anywhere in my car, I want the arc lighter to have some protection. Um, this metal case will definitely serve that purpose. So uh, I have three wires feeding out of here. Two of them are, are the leads for the sparker, um, which as you can see just goes down here. And uh, this third wire actually serves two functions. One of them is the power for this arc lighter. So I'm actually just got a USB cord stripped down. Um, it goes in here. This wire actually has four wires inside. Two of them are positive and negative to charge this thing or to keep it charged, I guess. So I'm just gonna plug this into like a USB port in the back of my car. Um, and the other two wires are the switch. Uh, so if we go ahead, it's actually a very long wire because I'm gonna hopefully run this up to where I can reach it while I'm in the car. Almost there, got it. All right, so as you can see, we've got the four wires right here. Black and red are the, are the power wires for the lighter and uh, green and yellow are the on off switch. So if we go ahead and connect these, you can see a spark will jump just like that. So gas shoots out, catches on fire, and pfft, it gets real lit real fast. So here's how I actually control the gas from the solenoid valve. I just got a wire, comes down here, and uh, I just basically extended it out. These two wires right here, which again I'll attach a switch to once I uh, know exactly how long to make the wires and where to put them in my car. Basically anytime you connect these two wires together, gas will shoot out. This tank's almost empty at the moment, but you can still uh, hear it clicking, just like that. So yeah guys, that's pretty much the mechanics of uh, how this contraption I just built works. Um, hopefully we'll get the effect we're looking for, which is a huge ball of fire out the back of my car. This tank's almost empty though, and it's like 10 o'clock at night. It's been raining all day, but I think it finally stopped. Um, so the plan is to just go out there, see if I can hook it up. Um, I don't know how long it'll take, and in the morning, we'll test this out. First though, I wanna see if I can give you a little test uh, right here inside. It's not gonna shoot out very much flame because again, the tank's basically empty, sparking on. And three, two, one. There we go. Hell yeah. Yeah, as you can see, this tank's pretty much empty. We'll get a new one and uh, the flame will be out to here. There we go guys, it is the morning. As you can see, amazing day out today. So yeah, I spent some time last night mounting the system into the car right here. Also went and picked up a fresh can of propane right here. Just a one pound tank. Uh, as you can see, it's like three or four dollars, so pretty good deal. Do it one last time, don't try this at all, you know. It's really just for entertainment purposes only and because I want a really cool spy car. Oh yeah, speaking of this car, might as well just tell you guys a little bit about it because uh, I always see those comments whenever I have a car in the video. So yeah, this is my car. It is an Audi A5. I was able to buy it because of uh, all the support you guys are showing me. I figured the best way to thank you guys was to do some sweet over the top spy mods on it. Basically, all you need to know, it's an Audi with a flamethrower in the back. So I'm gonna show you guys where I mounted the actual propane system. Just go ahead and unlock it. So this actually went really well. Um, finding space for it. So it's basically just under here. You can see we've still got the spare tire in. So we'll just take this out. And as you can see, we've got a little, uh, just a little something different down inside of here, but uh, it's super out of the way and like there's nothing else that would actually go there in place of this. Um, so it was kind of like it was made for this. You know what, Audi, Audi wanted me to put a flamethrower in this car. And uh, we've got a propane tank right here and we've got two wires going off who knows where. Pretty much completely empty. Um, so yeah, get rid of this one, grab the fresh one, and uh, just screw it back into our adapter valve right here. You'll hear a little hiss. Spoon it in. So got the tank in right back there, down through the seat. 
kind of behind here. Uh, you can see there's a little bit right there. I kind of tucked them into the uh, siding of the car and uh, the wires pop out right here to this kind of remote thing that'll just uh, sit down somewhere back here. So yeah, here's the remote that controls everything. Um, we actually, I covered it up with a little bit of nylon, but we have one button on this side for the light and the other button on this side for the gas. And so it actually gets some power to the uh, lighter itself. I actually rigged it off of a USB cord back here. Um, so that just kind of runs and tucks into seemingly nowhere. It's pretty out of the way, um, but basically it just feeds down along with this cord uh, back to the trunk uh, where it is sending power to the lighter so it can, so I'll never have to like recharge the lighter. So it is a little bit jury rigged, but uh, I didn't want to do anything permanent to my car. And all this can be taken out within probably like 10 minutes if it has to be. Um, obviously I'm not trying to mess up my car too much. Propane tube feeds out through this perfectly found hole right here. Um, that just leads down under here. Um, I just hooked on the valve we made earlier along with the sparker and uh, just hooked on with some wire there. Um, so hopefully it won't fall off. I think it's far enough away from the tailpipes that it's not gonna get super hot. Um, I mean, there's plastic right here, like, so I don't see how, uh, this is metal, so I don't see how the heat would affect uh, this more than this. So I think we're good there. All right, guys, there you go. That's how this works. Enough talking. Let's go try this thing out. I can feel the night When I see the daylight I should be alright All right guys, well there you go. That's pretty much the video. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, I definitely had a lot of fun making this. And now my car can shoot fire. Pretty sure this is illegal though, so uh, probably gonna have to take it all uh, apart after this, or you know, just not use it in front of cops. Um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe for uh, some more cool projects just like this. Comment below if you have any cool ideas. Also, go follow me on Instagram. Uh, posting a lot of cool stuff over there. I'm doing a lot of giveaways over there actually, so what I'll do is like go through pictures, click on the likes and see who liked it, and like DM a few people to actually win like what was in the picture. So go make sure you follow me over there, link in the description. Thank you for allowing me to live out my dream of having a superhero spy car without you. None of this would be possible. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.